Good evening, everybody. Good evening, everyone. Good evening. Welcome to How We Got Here. I'm F.L. Williams coming to you live on this Monday night here uh, in the city of Selma, Alabama, in recording studio at Tabernacle Praise Church at 850 Woodrow Avenue in historic Selma, Alabama. So good to have you with us. I appreciate you taking your time to be a part of tonight's broadcast. If you don't mind, please, ma'am, please, sirs, if you're watching this on Facebook, please hit uh, the share button and share it with us. And then if you're watching it on other platforms, please like us and subscribe to us and keep up with what we're going on with FL Williams Ministry. Thank you so much for being a part of tonight's broadcast. As you know, I come to you every live every Monday night, 7 o'clock Central Standard Time, 8 o'clock on the East Coast and uh, 5 o'clock on the West Coast. So we thank you for being a part. I want to talk tonight about some things that um dear to my heart, and I hope it makes us think. Uh, we look over the landscape of our nation and where we are now. We, we got this political season. Man, there's so much stuff going on. I mean, there's every kind of thing's happening. And it's not happening by accident. When the Lord tell us in the last days, perilous times will come. You know, men will be lovers of pleasure more than lovers of God. Unthankful, unholy. And all these things we have, I mean, false accusers. There'll be wars and rooms of war, earthquakes in diverse places. Man, it's happening all around us. Wars and rooms of wars and all these things happening. And, and, and you can point to the fact of, of, the, of the, uh, the decline in, 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 in our um, pursuit of the things of God and the carnality that's happening to us as believers now. Not as a world, but as believers. And we're emulating the world instead of the world mimicking us. We're mimicking the world and things they do and things they say. And, and that's no wonder how we got here. Is that is what they say we're worshiping or the worship of another. I'm going to call it tonight the worship of another. We, 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 we begin to worship something that uh, is not of God. Worshiping is not of God. People who we are putting on, 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 on pedestals and platforms that don't conform to the things of God, yet that's who we follow politically. Look at the political landscape. Uh, look at the, the who we are following from, from, the, from the city level, state level, national level. Look at how divided we are, even spiritually. You know, denominationally, we are so divided. And we want to wonder how we got here. It because we are, it's the worship of another. That's how we, I'm telling you, the Lord plainly told us, saints. He plainly told you and I as believers. And please, please share this. And this is dear to my heart. I believe this is from the Lord. I really do. We should, should we wonder how we got here when he tells us in Matthews chapter 60, verse 33, he says, seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness and all these things will be added unto you. Seek ye, go after the kingdom first. The kingdom. The kingdom of God is not meat or drink, but righteousness and joy and peace in the Holy Ghost. Where God is sovereign. He is the king. Everything belongs to him. We don't own nothing. It belongs to him. And, and so he said, seek my way of doing things. Seek me seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness. All these things will be added unto thee. So I, I want to talk about that tonight. But we 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 we're worshiping another. We're worshiping another. We're worshiping another. And 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 he tells us plainly, thou shall have. This is what he said. Now, no other god before me. We make things that are material or we make things that are human become gods because we worship them. Look, 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 at, look at the music industry, who we follow. Look at the political landscape, who we follow it. Unrighteous people and calling it God's man and God's woman. Are we kidding? You want to know how we got to this point? It's the worship of another. And he plainly tells us again, thou shalt not uh, I am the Lord thy God, thou no other God shall you worship. Thou shalt have no other God before me. Don't place anything before me. We can make it our jobs. We can make it our our families. We can make it our cities. We can make it our, our, our church, our man and woman of God. We can make them God because we put them before him. 
I'm a jealous God, he said. Not jealous of, of your ability, not jealous of, of who, they, who they are, but that you are giving your allegiance to something else other than me. You can't make it without me, what he's telling us. Yo, this is how we got here. Somebody put in the comment, it's the worship of another that got us where we are. Because he plainly tells us, I'm telling you, if, if we are struggling to comprehend this, if we are struggling to, to, to succeed and to achieve, if we're struggling, could it be that we are worshiping another? When he plainly tells us in Matthew 6.33 again, seek ye first, not second, not after you get tired, not after you retire, not after you get to a certain age. He's about seek ye first, seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness and all these things what you're going to eat, what you're going to wear, what you're going to sleep, all those things will be added unto you. That's the word of God. That's what he told us. So you want to know how we got here? Could it be that we're the worship of another? <laughs> Could it be the worship of another? Just asking. He's a jealous God. And he said, thou shall have no other God before me. I mean, l l again, look at politically. Man, people who believe a politician they did, a, they did a study, guys, and said that people will believe in a politician before they believe God. Isn't that something? Before they believe a family. They believe in, in, in a man who is flawed. Think about that now. We're placing a creature above the creator. Oh, bless the name of Jesus. You want to know how we got here? The worship of another. He, I'm going to go back to my statement again. You can't put him first and he make you last. So please put that in the comment. If you don't put nothing else tonight, put that in there. Everybody, as many as you can, put it in there. If you, you can't put him last and him make you first. And you can't put him first and he put you last. It ain't gonna happen. No, ma'am. You can't put God first and you end up last. No, no, no. You could be the last one called, but you won't be the last one to succeed. I promise you that. I promise you that. How do you know that? He just told you again, Matthew 6, 33. Seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness and all these things shall be added unto you. That's the word of God. That is the word of God. Okay. So what, 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 what do we worship, FL? We talk about that. We worship possessions. We worship our things. You know, we've got, I got to do this. I got to do this. I got to, I got to build this. I got to build that. And we, and we worship buildings and material possessions. Put them before God. Get more time. So think about it now. Where do the where, where, where do most of our money go? Where do most of our resources go? Where does the, most of our time go? It's certainly not to God. But we but 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 again, He tells us plainly: Seek ye first the kingdom of God and His righteousness, and all these things will be added unto you. That's the word of God. Who are we worshiping? We worship our possessions. And he said again, I'm jealous. And thou shalt have no other God before me. I'm jealous. Don't put no other God before me. <laughs> I can't give you those things. Now, no, you're not getting them by works. You're getting them by honoring him. I'm honoring you first, God, with my first fruit of my increase. I'm honoring you first, God, with my time. I'm tithing my time, tithing my stuff to you. You said if I bring all the tithes to the storehouse and prove you now, that you would not, if you not open the windows of heaven and pour me out a blessing, I won't have room enough to receive. The blessing of the Lord make it rich and he has no sorrow. What am I going after? Could it be that we're where we are because of the worship of another? So we worship possession. We worship people. We worship celebrities. We worship athletes. We worship politicians. And expect to get the, 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 the benefits of following God. Seek ye first. Not seek the politicians. Not seek the Democratic Party. Not seek the Republican Party. Not seek the favor. I, I, I'm looking at uh, uh, the political uh, candidate for, for uh, uh, on the Republican side. Those people will go down to where he lives. And they call it kissing the ring to get his approval. on what they do next. Leaders do this. This man, not, he's not the leader, but they can't do nothing. If he said don't vote, they won't vote. If he said don't go, they don't go. That's putting that man first. That is. That's it. I don't care who it is. Republican or Democrat. If you seek them before you seek God, you think God going to put you first? No. 
No, no. You can't put God last and expect to be first. On the reverse, you can't be, you can't put God first and you be last. <laughs> oh yes. Oh yes. Seek ye first the kingdom of God and his right and all these things shall be added unto you. Well, where, where, how do we get here tonight? Could it be the worship of another? Could it be that we have walked, we have fallen back from pursuing him and become so carnal in our thinking? Carnality is in our places of worship. Carnality at the workplace. Carnality in the homes. Come on. Carnality in, in, in the government. Carnality is in, in the families. Could it be that we are so carnal, which means worldly, going after the things of the world, conform to the world. Instead of the world looking like us, we're trying to look like them. Come on. I'm serious. And he tells you, love not the world, neither the things that are in the world. The, for the things that are in the world, the lust of the flesh, the lust of the eye, the pride of life, are not of him, but they of the world. And it can't last. Oh, bless God. Oh, bless God. Oh, bless God. Remember now, he tells us this. He, what? he said, Sinners, this is what he said. Sinners shall be turned into hell and all nations that forget God. I didn't write it. He did. Sinners shall be turned into hell and all nations that forget God. One more time. Sinners shall be turned into hell and all nations that forget God. Could it be that the worship of another has gotten us to where we are? where we are, the worship of another has gotten us to where we are today. And listen, we, we, we worship people, possessions, and then we worship, uh, I, I, I guess I'd call it things or positions. We want a position. We worship a position. Not the power of the position. We want the, uh, the position itself or not the responsibilities or the duties of the position. We want the position. So we, we almost worship to get it. We almost sell ourselves to get it. Come on, guys. Could it be how we got here? Because we worship another. And God said again, I'm a jealous God. And thou shalt have no other God before me. Not jealous that they can overcome him. Not jealous that they are bigger than him. That you would give legion, that we would give legion to something else other than him. As in him we live. It's in him we move. It's in him we have our very being. Right. So, 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 so uh, we, we, we got here tonight, my brothers and sisters, because the worship of another. We don't give God his place. You can't put God last and expect to be first. Sinners shall be turned into hell and all nations that forget God. One more time. Sinners shall be turned into hell and all nations that forget God. That's the word of the Lord. And so what we're doing is worshiping another, whatever it may be. It may not be according to God that we worship at the altar of, but we put things and people and places and positions. When he plainly tells us again, I'm going to keep saying that again. It's keep ringing in my ears. Matthew 6, 33. Seek ye, seek me, go after, pursue, try to find it. The things of God. Seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, his righteousness, the way of doing his way. And all these things will be added unto you. The word of the Lord to the people of God. Now, let's show you something. Romans chapter one, where people, when God gave them over, could it be that we have reprobate minds? Could it be that nothing bothers us anymore? Could it be that our Morality meter has been turned off. Could it be that right looks like wrong and wrong look like right because we have reprobate minds because we pursue the creature and not the creator going after things of people and not the things of God. Could it be that that's how we got to where we are tonight? Could it be? Romans chapter one, let me give you this. And yeah, I'm not teaching Bible said tonight, but just telling you how we got to this point. Romans chapter 1, he talked about them not wanting to retain him. And this is what he says. Because that when they knew God, they glorified him not as God. And neither were thankful, but became vain in their imaginations, 
and their foolish hearts was darkened. 23, Romans 1, 23 says this, and changed the glory of the uncorruptible God into an image made like a corruptible man and to birds, to the four-footed beasts and the creeping things. In other words, we worshiping the creatures and not the creator. We worshiping man and not God. Worship in positions and of power, but not God. And we wonder how we got here. It's the worship of another. <laughs> Cause if he, I'm telling you again, he said in Matthew six thirty three, seek ye first the kingdom of God, and his righteousness, and all these things will be added unto us. If it's not being added, are we really going after the things of God? Cause I promise you, take care of his business. He gonna make sure your business is handled. You can't keep God first and you come in last. Can't do it. Keep reading. Watch this in Romans 1 and 20. Now watch this now. So when they, in verse 24, said, Wherefore God also gave them up in uncleanliness through the lust of their own hearts to dishonor their own body between themselves. He's talking about what's happening. How we got here. The worship of another. Could it be that we have turned our backs upon the things of God because it's not it's not cool anymore. It's, it, it's old fashioned now. It's not necessary. We don't need to do it now. Could it be that we've talked back, walked back, and what was once holy is now profane? Could it be that we worship another? That we're worshiping another? When he tells us plainly, trust in the Lord all your heart. Lean not to your own understanding. All your ways in knowledge God, and he will direct your path. That's the word. That's the word. This is what he says now. Uh, 26. For this cause God gave them up unto their vile affection. Even their women did change the natural use of which is in their nature. And likewise also men leave the natural use of a woman and burning that lust one toward another. Men with men working in that which is unseemly, receiving themselves the recompense of the error which was met. Or meet, I'm sorry. So, so he said, in other words, you changed the natural use because of what you wanted to do. Watch this. Could it be that we are worshiping the creature more than the creator? And God gave him over to it. Okay. So God, so tonight, if your mind, you got a mind that you can think on God, you can praise God, you can believe God, praise him. Because God kept your mind. You didn't lose your mind when you went through. Praise him. Praise him right there where you are for your mind. Come on, thank God for your mind. Because God could have took his hands off your mind. God could have took his hands off your mind and you wouldn't have had no mind. <laughs> if God give you up now, ain't no help for you. I'm telling you. Thank God for his unconditional love. Thank God for his amazing grace. Thank God for his mercy that endures forever. Glory to God. All right, now watch this. And look at verse 28. Now this is what I'm, this is what I'm getting at. This is what he said in verse 28. Romans chapter 1, verse 28. And even as they did not like to retain God in their knowledge, God gave them over to a reprobate mind to do those things which are not convenient. Could it be that God says, you don't want to listen to me, so I'm going to let you do what you want. I've been holding you, so you couldn't go crazy. You couldn't do any and everything you wanted. Could it be that we start worshiping another, and God says, okay, I'll let you do what you want to do. And now your mind will reprobate. The, 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 the Amplifier says, God gave them over to a base and condemned mind to do things that are not proper or decent but loathsome. You don't know, you know how we got here? Could it be that God said, okay, you won't listen to me. I'm removing my hands off of you because you're serving the creature more than the creator. We're serving people. We get excited about celebrities. Oh, man. They can't do no wrong on our side. We get excited about athletes. We get excited about politicians. And we become apathetic toward God and his, his work. That's how we got to where we are tonight. It's not brain surgery. I'm going to say it again. Sinners shall be turned into hell. And all nations that forget God. Could it be that the nations are forgetting God? Putting other things before God? I'm going to say it again. I am a jealous God. 
thou shalt have no other God before me. I am a jealous God. Thou shalt have no other God before me. And he sees that's what we're doing. Paul wrote this way back then. And it's evidence today. Matthew 6.33 says what? Seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness and all these things shall be added unto you. That's what the word of God says. So what are we going after? What's top priority in our lives? All your ways acknowledge me. He said, I'll direct your path. That's what he says. We've, we, we, we've, we've relegated God to if you want him, not that you should and you need him. We've relegated God to second class status in terms of we don't have to have him. Church attendance ain't not quite required. I believe, but I ain't got to worship with nobody. I, I worship my own way. I do my own way of thinking. No, he said, forsake not the sin together of yourselves. Mm -hmm. He said this now, listen, listen to me carefully. There is a way that seemeth right unto man, but the ends thereof are the ways of death. He said, your ways are not my ways and my thoughts are not your thoughts. As the heavens are higher than the earth, so are my ways than your ways and my thoughts than your thoughts. That'll make us just get somber for a moment because I would think it's too limited to, 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 to think with God. That's why Paul said, let this mind be in you, which is in Christ Jesus. Not Jesus' mind take yours, but you take his mind. Make sense? But we relegated God to not necessary, not needful, but to make him if you want him, if you want to. Not necessary. Old school. You know, all these things and uh, that we've made him to be. This is how we got to where we are. This is how we got here. Worship of another. I am God. I'm a jealous God. Thou shalt have no other God before me. Could it be because we have sidestepped God and, and we want him only when we need him? Ah, oh, bless God. Oh, I feel that one. <laughs> he is more than a Sunday God. He's Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, back Sunday again. And we start all over again with Monday. <laughs> He's an everyday God, not an occasional God. I, I, I once had him uh, when I was working at the, when I was working. I, I had a someone. I got this slogan from someone. I don't know where I got it from, but it, he said, I mean, "God is not uh, cake for a special occasion, or the word of God is not cake for a special occasion." It's bread for daily living. God is not occasional God. He's an everyday God. Trust in the Lord all your heart. Lean not to your own understanding. All your ways and knowledge God. He'll direct your path. Who are we following? Who are we trusting? Who are we trying to emulate? I think, I think the psalmist said, mock, mock the perfect man, the complete man, the mature man. We, 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 we are, I'm telling you, could it be the worship of another? I'm, I'm a jealous God, he said. Thou shalt have no other God before me. We've made politicians be God. Can't do no wrong. No matter what he or, say, he or she says, we'll follow. And we're supposed to be leading. If the blind lead the blind, they both shall fall into the ditch. Could it be that we have made politicians be God and we don't know why the, why the grace of God, excuse me, why the, the blessing, the favor of God is not resting heavily upon us? That's in your home, in, in the community, at the state level, in the national level. Could it be that we put other things before God? We're, sec we're making God second and want him to put us first. We want, we're going, we want God to treat us as we are royal. We treat him as a servant, as a go-getter, as a fetch it. God bring me, or give me God. Give me, give me, give me, give me. I said, Lord, I worship you. You're, you're my everything. Without you, I'm nothing. I give you all honor to you. Because without him, we can't do nothing. But we make other things to be God. Politicians, we've made athletes be gods. 
We made athletes be God. I mean, we we just put them on a pedestal. Made them be gods. They didn't even ask to be. We make them that way. You think God is pleased and happy with that? Absolutely, they can't be. I'm I'm a jealous God. Thou shalt have no other God before me. I know I sound like a broken record, but I want kids. I want to seek in. Seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness and all these things we add unto you. For the kingdom of God is not meat or dream, but righteous joy and peace in the Holy Ghost. I'm telling you tonight, I believe I'm speaking from the, or, I believe I'm speaking for, with permission of the Holy Spirit. You have to understand, if we worship another, then that means we're taking our Oh, it was our Lord or something. You know, listen, let, 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 let's, let, me, let me give you this. I just heard Spitzer go there. Matthew 4. You know, it's, it's, it's the, Jesus on the mount going to the wilderness to be tempted of the devil. Now watch this. In Matthew chapter 4. And look at verse, we get in verse number 1. And when Jesus led by the Spirit into the wilderness to be tempted of the devil. And when he had fasted 40 days and 40 nights, he was afterwards a hunger. He was hungry. And when, he, and when the tempter came to him, he said, If thou be the Son of God, command these stones to be made bread. Now, why, why we have to prove who he is, we know who he is. We don't have to prove who we are when we know who we are. The enemy wasn't after him turning the bread to stone. Turn stone to bread. He's after him uh, doing things of, of, of flesh. Get into his place. He wasn't worried about no bread being. He had seen Jesus take two fish, five loaves of bread, and feed 5,000. He had seen him turn water to wine. He had seen him walk on water. He saw it. Oh, he knew of it. Satan knew it. Satan knew it. His demon had made a report about what he had been doing. You remember he came to Job and the Lord asked, him, Where you been, Satan? Oh, up, and, up and down the earth, see who, 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 who I can devour. And the Lord had to tell him, You consider my servant Job. He, Satan, knew, he, Satan knew Jesus had the power to turn a uh, stone into bread. But what good would it do? He was hungry, I know. But he that, that be still using power, you would think, not what he wanted to do because he did nothing for himself. See, what that was say could get to his mind. He was not doing anything for himself. He do everything to the glory of God. That, 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 that's, that's, a, that's a good, good, good uh, key for somebody to hear that now. <laughs> not about you, not about me, it's about him. Giving him glory, not ourselves. But the devil went through. Watch this. In verse, in verse four, but he, but he asked, who answered? Jesus answered, said, "It is written, man shall not live by bread alone, but by every word that proceeds out of the mouth of God." Verse five. And then the devil takes him to a, into a holy city, and set him on the pinnacle of the temple, and he said unto him, "If thou be the Son of God, watch this, cast thyself down, for it is written, He shall give his angels charge concerning thee, and in thy hand they shall bear thee up, lest thou at any time thou dash thy foot against the stone. Throw yourself down." Tempting Jesus to see what the angels do. Why? Why would he do it? What, what would that bring to God? Nothing. 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 He was not going to worship Satan. He was not going to worship. Uh, he wasn't going to turn uh, stone into bread. He wasn't going to jump off and see if the angels going to catch him. That didn't bring glory to God. That did not bring glory to God. That would not have brought glory to God. So why would he do it? He didn't. He didn't want to do anything that didn't bring glory to God. And that's, that's a good thing. That's a good segue to us. We shouldn't do anything. If it's, not, if it's not bringing God glory, why are we doing it? If it's not glorifying God, if it's not making God presence bigger, why are we doing it? Why are we doing it? He wasn't through. Why is this? In verse 7, and Jesus said, and it is written, Thou shalt not tempt the Lord thy God. 8, again the devil take them unto the he seen that mountain and showed him all the kingdoms of the world and the glory of them. Watch this now. This is what he's after. He said this for the last. He saved this one for the last. Watch what he said. And he said to him, all these things will I give thee. First of all, it wasn't yours to give. Keep reading. If thou wilt fall down and worship me. What if God, what if Christ had to worship? You and I wouldn't be free today. Because then... Uh, Jesus, who knew no sin, became sin, but he could not sin. He could not lie. The devil was a fool. <laughs> Excuse me. Him only shall we serve. We worship him. Now watch what he says this. In verse 9. And he said to him, I'm sorry, in verse 10. And then Jesus said to him, I think something like Jesus might have been fed with him now. Get thee hence, 
Satan. For it is written, Thou shalt worship the Lord thy God, and him only shall thy serve. And then the devil leaves him, and behold, angels came and ministered to him, strengthened him. <laughs> he wants you to worship him. Could it be that where we are, it's because we worship another? Could it be that we worship another? And what did he tell us again? Seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness and all these things should be added unto you. It, 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 I mean, these things, whatever those things are, he gives us the desire to please him. He really does. Satan wants you worship. Bible says that Lucifer was beautiful. Splendor was in him. He had musical instruments within his being. When he spoke, he sound. Oh, he had harmonic sound. He sounded good. The musicians, we call him the sheep leader, chief leader of the praise and worship, what, what, what they say he was. And one day, pride was found in him. And he said, wait a minute, I'm doing all this praise and worship. They worshiping somebody else. Why can't I? I tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to raise my seat. I'm going to be above him. And I'm going to get the praise and worship for what I'm doing. See, he wanted, he wanted pride was in him. He wanted to worship. He wanted to be worshiped. He ain't, excuse my language, he ain't changed. <laughs> he ain't changed, saints. That's what he's after. If we worship another, then that means we ain't putting God first. And then God can't add. Come on. God can't add when he's last. But he's unstoppable when you make him first in your life. So pride was found in him. He said, I'm going to sit in my seat above the seat of God. And God cast the Bible out of his hell, Satan fall as lightning. That quick, he got, he got rid of him. But it said that a third of the angels, a third of heaven went with him. Isn't that something? How can you go against the creator God? Oh, we make mistakes and say things, do things, but to try to go up against him? When he created you? He was perfect. He's a perfect, he was perfect in his being when he was made. But pride got in him. I'm going to put my seat above the seat of God. And the Lord dealt with him. The Bible said, again, I beheld Satan fall as lightning. You know how quick lightning hits, strikes through the sky. He was cast out. He was cast out. He wanted to worship. And that's why we're being tormented everywhere. He still wants to be worshiped. He knows his time is not long. He knows where his final destination is. He wants you to worship him. He wants to, he, he's telling God, let, let me have him. You do this because of this and that and that. Jesus daily intercedes for us. He said, God is a spirit. And they that worship him must worship him in spirit and in truth. The enemy knows this. And could it be that we are worshiping another? And I go back to Matthew 6, 33, one more time. <laughs> he said, seek, go after the kingdom of God and his righteousness. And all these things shall be added unto us. What things? Everything you need. <laughs> Hallelujah. Life itself. Because we worship him. So I worship you, almighty God. There is none like you. That's the truth. No one. Oh, prince of peace, that is what I long to do. That's what, that, that, that's, I give you praise. For you are my righteousness. That is what we're talking about tonight. He, Satan can't stand you to praise God and worship God because he wants your worship. But if I worship God, if I worship God, well, then I had me that, that I had a uh, keyboard player behind me right now. If I had right behind right now in the whole band, I, I said, if I could just worship God, Ooh, he said, if you keep me first, praise him, 
He said, I will give you these things because you sought to worship me. Ah. Don't worship the creature. Worship the creator. We made so many people God, again, politicians, athletes, celebrities, the mo I mean, movie stars, and the singers, the rappers. We emulate them when he tells you plainly, be not conformed to this world, but be ye transformed by the renewing of your mind that you may prove what is that good, acceptable, and perfect will of God. We run after celebrityism. And we're quiet about God. Yet we want the blessings and the favor of God. It just don't work that way. I'm a jealous God. And thou shalt have no other God before me. And then he plainly tells us again. Seek ye first. Come on now. The kingdom of God. And his righteousness and all these things. Shall be added to you. I, I, I hope tonight I made you think. I hope for, made you just think for a moment. It's not about what I possess because I don't own anything. I can prove it. The earth is the Lord's. The fullness thereof. The world and they that dwell therein. Even the cattle on a thousand hills belong to God. The gold is mine. <clears throat> the silver is mine. And we think we own it. He's just letting you borrow it. <laughs> He's just letting you borrow it. Seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness and all these things will be added unto you. What are we going after? Could it be that we're worshiping another? Could it be we've turned our worship to man? So our children, the idols that they're building up, it's celebrities, uh, the musicians, or the singers, very few are emulating the men and women of God. The breakdown. He tells us plainly, no other God before me. I am a jealous God. He don't mean that just for, for adults. He means it for the children too. <laughs> Not just because he's afraid of them or just because they threaten him, but because we miss the fellowship of being with him. Giving our allegiance. Seek ye first the kingdom of God. And his righteousness, all these things should be added. Not a Democrat, not a Republican, not an independent, not a liberal, not a conservative, but God. How can God bless us when we don't make him number one? Remember, I'll say it again. If you have not put it in the comment, put it in the comment. You make him one, there's no way he's going to let you end up last. But if you make him last, he can't be he, he, he can't make you one. Can't do it. Will you tell us? Trust in the Lord all your heart. Lean not your own understanding. All that way to acknowledge God. He will direct your path. Hey, that's it for tonight on this Monday night. Thank God for all of you. I pray I said something to just make you think. So what do we do? Let's teach him first. Let's push his agenda. Not the Republican, Democrat, liberal, conservative agenda. Let's push his agenda. Seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness. And all these things shall be added. What is his kingdom? The kingdom of God is not meat and drink, but righteousness, joy, and peace in the Holy Ghost. His way of doing things. That's what the kingdom is. His righteousness. And these things shall be added unto us. So we're not helpless and we're not hopeless. It's in him we live. It's in him we move. And we have our being. Have yourself a great rest of the week. Love you. Be back next week. Another word from the Lord. We'll put a heart to share with you. Until then, how we got here. Until then, hey, stay safe and remember, He loves you unconditionally. Have a good one.